example 19, an ideal fluid of specific weight 8175 newtons per cubic meter flows from a 0.6 meter diameter tank as shown in the figure. The jet diameter is 75 mm and A is 0.3 meter. If the static coefficient of friction between the tank and the ice coated floor is 0 0.02, determine the minimum value of H at which the tank will start to move to the left. The tank itself weighs 350 newtons. What if the coefficient of static friction between the tank and the floor is increased to 0 0.05? What maximum coefficient of static friction between the tank and the floor is required so that it can move to the left if H is 1 meter? So this is the given figure. So because of the velocity here, eh, it pushes the tank to the left by F, which is Q rho V, or density area velocity square. Then we have the weight of the tank plus weight of liquid inside. The normal force should be equal to that, NG, and F is prevented by coefficient of static friction times normal ng so f is q rho v or density area velocity square and it should be equal to 0 0.02 of ng coefficient of static friction times ng let's evaluate f which is density 8175 over 9.81 that's the density area pi times 0 0.0375 square area of the orifice then v square is 2gh so 19.62h is 72.23h if you evaluate that then ng is 8175 times pi 0.3 square times depth of liquid h plus 0.3 plus the weight of the tank 350 so combining NG is equal to 2311.43H plus 1043.43. That's in newtons also. So equating 72.23H equals 0 0.02 of NG, 2311.43H plus 1043.43, simplifying the right side. So from here we can now solve for H. H is equal to 0 0.8027 meters. Then for the second part, uh, 72.23 equals 23H equals 0 0.05 of 2311.43H plus 1043.43. The coefficient of static friction is increased to 0 0.05. So 72.23H is 115.57H plus 52.17. So in this case, H is negative 1.204, meaning the tank cannot move regardless of the value of H because H is negative. The coefficient of static friction is too high for this problem. Then what maximum coefficient of static friction between the tank and the floor is required so that it can move to the left? So F should be greater than coefficient of static friction times NG. So F is 72.23 times 1, H is 1, 72.23 newtons, NG is 2311.43 times 1 plus 1043.43. So NG is 3354.86. So 72.23 should be greater than coefficient of static friction, uh, maximum value, times 3354.86. 86. So mu sub s should be less than 0 0.02153 so that the tank can move to the left.